So I am down here in the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, also known as CHAZ, and the mood here is completely peaceful. You can see over here, we've got people grilling uh, some food, and over here we also have uh, free pizza, some drinks, water, all types of snacks. We've got uh, people handing out bags with masks and hand sanitizer, uh, literally everything you can think of. And uh, over here is the memorial that is set up to all of the people that we've lost during the uh, George Floyd Rebellion, as they're calling it. That's what the, uh, the wall says over there. There's like a constant 24-hour vigil. People can light candles and, you know, say their prayers, say, you know, just, just hang out and, and um, yeah, just, uh, you know, give their thoughts and uh, take a moment of silence for everyone that we've lost. Uh, during the rebellion and also at the hands of the police and here is the entrance this is the west entrance to the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone back there we have the uh, the precinct which is where this is where the most of the uh, violence was enacted by the police uh, for the last few few nights, the last week or so, this is where most of the stuff happened. Where the you know the tear gas and the pepper spray uh, and the, the all of the like pictures of people with umbrellas. There are there were four. There are still four uh, main barricade points, um, and inside is the autonomous zone. And. Uh, People are anticipating on staying as long as possible. Uh, there have been several tents that have already been set up. People are preparing to stay overnight. Uh, people have been staying overnight the last uh, two nights since the Autonomous Zone was created. And as far as long-term goals, uh, tomorrow at 3 p.m., the uh, people are meeting down here to uh, get together into breakout groups to discuss uh, what's next you know right now for tonight people are just kind of enjoying themselves uh, having you know different discussions with people that they you know friends family people that are just meeting for you know the first time uh, it just it's kind of a, a jovial uh, atmosphere but at the same time still making sure that we you know keep a focus on what it is that we're here for and so after tomorrow i can have more for you on what it is that people are going to do moving forward and what uh, people's long-term goals are however um, the main main goal i would say that i could say right now is that people are they calling for the defunding of police you know nationwide we've seen uh this uh minneapolis city council uh, already you know completely disband uh, or vote to disband the, the Minneapolis police uh, we're calling for the same thing here in Seattle we're calling for a complete defunding of the police a complete reallocation into uh, black and brown communities where it's needed the most and so that is definitely a, a goal of people uh, I would say the number one goal for right now uh, there are a whole other list of demands and uh, I can link you to some of the the pages if you would like and wow that 
took part in Occupy Wall Street in New York as well as several other Occupy movements throughout the country. I absolutely am reminded of the Occupy movement. Actually before I filmed this uh, video I had just posted about being down here at Chaz and how much it reminded me of Occupy and being in Zuccotti Park. Uh, with the free pizza, with the, the mutual aid, the medics, you know, everybody just like looking out for each other, you know, literally an autonomous zone. There are no police around here. Everything is extremely peaceful. People are, are talking, having conversations, they're learning. Um, you know, a lot for a lot of people, especially a lot of white people right now, it's uh, learning about defunding the police or abolishing the police is like something brand new to them. They don't understand they've never you know heard of the concept and they, they think it's impossible and uh, a lot of people still believe that the police are you know our friends they protect us and you know for some people they do you know but for most of us they do not and showing people statistics and uh, you know about how you know people are about how the, the police really don't do a lot to protect us you know they're given all of this funding uh, and the funding itself is just mind-blowing you know the NYPD alone is uh, gets a six billion dollar uh, a year budget and uh, here in Seattle we have a 400 million dollar budget which is outrageous it is literally half of our general fund it is half of Seattle's budget and when we're breaking it down to people and letting them know you know all of this funding you know it's, it's like you're literally creating a world where you need police you know if you were to take that funding from the police and put it into communities that really need it um, you know for de-escalation for for medical services hospitals education you know the list goes on and on uh, you there really is no need for a police you know we can police ourselves and that's one of the biggest uh, concepts of this of this autonomous zone is uh, letting people know that we can peacefully work together and we can you know we don't we don't need a police force you know we just don't need them uh, we can do it all on our own and it is difficult you know um, it doesn't happen overnight uh, but that was a lot of the things that um, Occupy Wall Street was talking about you know and the you know the defunding of you know of of Wall Street and uh, a lot of issues that we had with them but like this particular uh, like movement is based around you know the police and police brutality and defunding the police so um, while you know police brutality was only a small faction of Occupy Wall Street so it differs in that respect um, it is still very much like Occupy down here very much reminiscent of Zuccotti Park days uh, where people are calling in and sending pizzas our way and I just had a couple of slices myself <laughs> and um, Yeah, I have a bottle of water here Like I literally don't have to bring anything with me when I come down here because it's all provided so yeah And um, it's a beautiful thing seeing everybody come together, but it's also it's work, you know um, right now we are having a you know, uh, just a, a jovial time, a good time, because we have had a lot of stress this week. We've been hit with tear gas, we've been hit with pepper spray, uh, flashbangs. We have, you know, seen all types of uh, violence uh, provoked by the police. We even had uh, a lunatic, like, literally drive his car, try to drive his car into the protest the other day. And uh, thankfully he was, uh, he was stopped before he did that but then in uh in his panic he went to get out and he ended up shooting somebody he had a gun he shot somebody in the arm um so there is you know we've had a a lot of trauma this last week and so we're trying to get together and overcome that trauma for you know a little while uh just be very peaceful and then you know we're gonna get to work because this it doesn't stop here this is honestly like a, for the police to abandon that precinct they're still stationed in several locations around this area. So it's not like they gave up and retreated. They just decided to let us have this area for right now and they're regrouping and deciding what they're going to do next. Best believe they're coming back for that precinct, you know? So um, just like uh, they did with us with Zuccotti Park and they, you know, they told us that we had to, you know, take everything down and get out of the park because they had to sanitize the place. Like something like that is, likely going to happen here you know 
uh, they're, they're going to give some excuse and they're going to come out of nowhere, probably in the middle of night, just like they did when they raided uh, Zuccotti Park. Uh, just like when the NYPD surrounded uh, Zuccotti Park and it, like violently evicted all of the uh, protesters. So yeah, we, uh, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, we have a lot of conversations to have, uh, but that's what, all, that's what all of this is about, is coming together and learning from each other and learning about each other's experiences and talking about how we can move forward together for a better, more just world. Nobody talked to you. It's uh, my uh, 